Today we're talking to uh, Justin Amaluzor, who's having a great season for the Robins. Uh, Justin, six goals uh, to date uh, this season and four in your last uh, five games. It's been a great season from you, for you right from the word uh, go, but uh, it's really coming uh, coming into into focus now. Yeah, great time to pick up form in terms of scoring goals, eh? Coming up to the vital Christmas period and yeah, as I say, I feel, I feel like I started the season all right, decent. I got a few man of the matches and and performances were all right, but the gaffer had a word with me a month ago, two weeks ago, and he told me um, I've been performing well, but I need to start adding goals and assists to my game, and and that's what I try. I'm trying to do right now. Yeah, because the the Harvey Nichols bottle of champagne has been renamed the uh, Justin Amaluzo <laughs> Trophy. Yeah, because you have won it. Mm, I think most of most of the home games uh, this uh, this season. Of course, you you came here with a, a goal scoring uh, record because I think you got eight goals for Aldershot uh, last season, which for for a winger is is a great return. Yeah, um, I I tend to base my game off obviously beating players and and creating opportunities, but I love scoring goals and who doesn't be an afford player? And that's what I want to do more and more. I'm trying to get into double figures as obviously anyone is trying to. And yeah, I'm going to try to kick on from here. How would you say your role differs uh, from from the role that you're asked to play at Aldershot? The role I play here, I'm more of a, I played everywhere for Aldershot. I played in a 10 role, played up front, played in the wing, played wing back. But here I'm more playing on the wing enough week in week out and I'm getting more used to it and I'm more suitable to play as a winger in terms of my traits that I have and I'm just more comfortable in a wing. Your first goal uh, for the club was against Bromley at the start of uh, September and it was possibly the, the best set piece move that, that we've produced uh, this uh, season. Eddie Jones uh, corner into Dior Angus, magnificent flick by Dior and it was some finish that you made. Yeah, the, the gaffer and Sores has worked on that all week um, prior to that game. And funny enough, um, when it all fell, fell, fell into place, I knew, I knew it was going to be a goal, just uh, the ball from Eddie Jones. And the, the second goal, uh, that was an important goal in the 2-0 win at uh, Gateshead, which uh, for me was one of the top uh, team performances of uh, the season. And uh, that was all about Chris Conclark's uh, setup, but it was a great finish. Yeah, when Chris gets on the half turn and he's running at defenders, it's a, it's a scary sight for them. And I just knew that if I made the right run, I knew that he would find me, and which he did find me, and I put it away, thankfully. And it was a big one for you because I think you'd missed a chance late on against Aldershot the previous uh, Tuesday, which didn't affect uh, the scoreline. We, 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 we won the game, but uh, there was a bit of pressure on you with that one. Yeah, 100%. Um, it haunted me as well because if you can tell the Aldershot game, when that chance arose, the commentator was literally calling my name up for man of the match, so that would have wrapped it up perfectly, but I don't know what happened there. I've, I've hit it at the keeper where I should have really just took my time and just slotted it, but as you say, it didn't affect the scoreline, so I'm happy for that. And that was the start of your excellent uh, run, which we hope is going to carry on uh, for the rest of uh, the season. But your second goal, or your third goal for the club, uh, and the second in this sequence of four in five games, uh, was, was a header. And um, Elliot Osborne and, and Chris Con Clark uh, were, the, were the, the players that uh, helped with the with the assist. But I think that's only uh, the second header from open play that we've scored this season. Oh wow! I didn't even know that myself. <laughs> But um, yeah, as you say, um, familiar names again, um, Chris again and Elliot and I think he got my assist for my other goal over the weekend. But yeah, they're, brill they're playmakers, them two. And whenever they get on the ball, I just try to make runs because I know the ball will probably find me. And it did in that Oldham game and I just guided it into the bottom corner. The South End uh, game, um, just under three weeks ago, you got the all-important uh, first goal in a tight game, two very good sides on the, on the day. Uh, and once again, it was a really, really good move left to right. Chris Con Clark involved again and, and Alex uh, Newby has, has set it up nicely for you. Yeah, playing with players like Chris, Newbs and Elliot, Isaac, um, them players there, as I said, if you make the right movements, you will get goals. So, like, there's nothing to be... Um, Nothing to be worried about when they're playing, and I love I love getting the first goal of games because uh, they feel the best, don't they? <laughs> well, it was a huge, huge goal because it was a really, really tight game. Southend had uh, done well in the first half. Um, 
Cardwell had missed a really good header, so it was a key, key moment uh, in, uh, in, in the game and, and a superb uh, victory. And then, of course, our last home league game against Solihull Moors. You've scored a brace. Um, which, which of the two pleased you most? Um, the second goal for me. Um, everyone, everyone I spoke to, my friends, family, even my Tom and my teammates, they all prefer the first goal because it probably looks better on the eye, but I know the second goal... Um, it takes a bit more composure. And remember, if you remember the older shot game where I've missed that chance, I had a bit more composure in this one where I knew the keeper was going down and I dinked it over him. So I definitely more prefer the second goal me. And there were different goals in terms of the setup as well because the first goal was again a really, really uh, good move. I think uh, Lewis Banks was the player who's finally laid it out to you and then you've cut in and curled it. Used the defender, round the defender and the keeper didn't stand a chance. The second one was a magnificent ball as you mentioned earlier from uh, Elliot uh, Osborne and uh, you've got away from James Clark. Yeah, I've been, regarding the first goal, I've been working on that finish all, all the time in training. Every time after training, I'm just cutting in, whipping it, whipping it, whipping it, waiting for a chance like that to, to cure in a game. And it did, lucky enough. And the second goal, Elliot fouled me, pinch perfect. I was through on goal, just had to keep my composure. And James Clark, the, the, the fullback you were up against, he'll be sick of the sight of Altrincham because last season he had a bit of a torrid time against uh, Tyree Sinclair. We beat Solihull 4 1, and it's a scene we're not used to, to beating. So uh, he looked a pretty forlorn figure just lying on the floor after you'd uh, chipped the keeper. Yeah, um, the way we play, because we, we play with predominantly wingers and we like wingers that like to beat players. So a lot of fullbacks will have that problem. <laughs> Me, Elliot, noobs, and even. Justin Donoa, we have a lot of wingers that can come off the bench and start that will cause fullbacks a lot of problems. And you've moved uh, up north in uh, in the summer. How, how are you enjoying life up north? Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm staying in Nortron at the moment and it's a very nice area, as you as you will know. And now I'm really enjoying it. It's a bit cold, well, a lot more cold than, <laughs> than down south. But I am enjoying it. I'm, I'm loving it. And have you had a chance to uh, see the bright lights of Manchester yet? Uh, not yet, but I'm, I'm going too soon. If I keep scoring goals, then I will, yeah. <laughs> so, all in all, it's worked out really well for you, the move uh, from Aldershot to Altrincham. Yeah, 100%. I'm delighted I made this because um, I was humming and hurrying before joining here, but I think this is the best thing I've ever done, um, career-wise, coming here, joining here, linking up with Parky and Sorbs and the fans, the club itself. Uh, I'm delighted I'm here. And how, how does Altrincham compare to Aldershot? Because they, they had a... A difficult season last season, but uh, have survived. But this year, they're going very, very well. Yeah, the the gaffer at Aldershot, they're doing amazing at the moment. So, all fair play to them. But um, I think that's what they probably needed, the, the gaffer they, need, they have now in charge. But at the moment, for me, it suits me more being there in terms of my, my relationship with this gaffer and the club. And it feels like more of a home to me here. Yeah. And how do you enjoy playing at the J Davidson Stadium? Oh, I love it. I've got a song already and uh, every time I hear that, I'm buzzing. <laughs> I've never heard that song before. Is it Beck? Yeah. Yes, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that's my ringtone now. <laughs> oh, there we go. The Ulti fans having a big impact, uh, a big uh, impact uh, there. So the season's going really well. We're in a playoff position at uh, the moment. There's been some great moments already this season. Two six one victories at the J Davidson Stadium. Um a 10 game unbeaten run I think it's going about as well as we could have hoped for yeah 100% I feel like any team in the league we get at home we can beat and we feel that in a camp we feel like we've got such a strong squad at the moment and long may it carry and this Saturday, hopefully weather permitting, we're playing uh, Dorking uh, Wanderers. Uh, we gave them a bit of a thumping 4-1 last uh, season, a very good performance. But then we lost 3-2 at Dorking in April, having been 2-0 up after a quarter of an hour. And that, that of course, means we're coming up against uh, the uh, remarkable man, Mark White. Uh, what do you know about him? Um, I've played against him quite a few times when I was at Water Trot, or two times, or three times, actually, and I've scored in two of them. And he was just like, you can hear him on a touchline. He seems like a good gaffer, but I don't think you want to get on the wrong side of him. <laughs> He's certainly an interesting uh, character. I mean, absolutely fascinating that some of the stuff that he uh, says they put on their official website. Uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's his personality and different managers have different personalities. And I guess you, you have to get used to it if you're a player. 
and uh, Donkey Wonder is always generally an entertaining uh, game, so I'd expect there to be goals on Saturday. Yeah, whenever we play, it's going to be goals, you know that, <laughs> with our front line, and hopefully they play attack of football and we play attack of football, so for the fans, it will be a good watch, yeah.